uh, hi everyone and welcome back so this is one of the important videos i'm going to cover and i'm targeting about javascript interview questions so sometimes we face one liner javascript questions right so those are like tricky but we are not able to answer them and then we see the answer just in one line right so there are a lot of javascript tips and tricks which are one liner okay in one single line you can actually execute a lot of different methods and can get your required output okay so what we are going to talk about in the whole playlist is we will talk about how you can work with strings okay okay there, there are a lot of things which are there with the strings and you can solve a lot of problems simple javascript questions with a string we have array like in array we have many different methods right array object these are our primary agenda and simple javascript questions related to data structure like stack queue link list and all and then we'll talk about basic javascript questions like uh, removing removing the duplicates from an array rotating an array swiping the elements generating a random sequence right or just uh, doing a some kind of a sorting searching in a basic array okay these all different aspects we are going to cover in this particular video okay so we'll just start with the basic string and now we have a simple problem statement okay uh, we are going to use regex with the strings to solve a lot of problems like sometimes we have to match a particular pattern if we are like if you wanted to remove a spatial characters from a string then you can actually use uh, javascript inbuilt methods or sometimes we wanted to validate the email or a particular pattern like the statement is validate a url right if this is a valid url or not so what you will do is you will write a some kind of a method const is url okay in this what you will do is const is url you are accepting a string as an argument okay and you will be using regex to validate a string which you have received a simple javascript question right so they will also test your knowledge about regex okay so here what we are doing is we, you have input string something like this google.com okay yahoo.com these are valid urls okay so what you will do is simply match id you will create so so we have to build a regex pattern for it and regex pattern we built something like this so here before that we have to put dollar and i because we are so now what this what the what does it specifies this is the regex pattern right inside this we will define our pattern which is it should end with dollar and things should come only once right now what we are going to put inside it our expression that it should have a dot com or it can have dot org right these two pattern we are looking at if now what you can do is simply match id match id dot test if whatever the string you are passing is passing this or returning true that means that is a valid url so you can write a custom validation logic for if this contains http or https right so all these logic you can add in this regex so here we are talking about regex patterns and all right and regex is playing a very important role uh, i can just talk about this one more simple example right here we are looking for all the string which are starting with apple so you can see these true false assertions right so there may be a case where you wanted to actually match a particular pattern to check if this is a valid email valid url all these things or sometimes you wanted to replace a particular spatial symbol from a string okay so that example we can just see something like some dirty string is there okay and what we will do is we will try to remove the elements from this so we'll just try to say whatever is illegals so we'll just declare the illegal characters okay these are the illegal characters we'll just wrap all the illegal characters inside this boundary and here we can just use uh that is string that is string dot replace 
this is a method in JavaScript and here you just provide the illegals match illegals and we are replacing it with empty quotes right so this will give us clean string right so there are many ways uh, to do this this is one of it the string dot replace function we can use other important aspect is about the length so like you have const character like hello word okay now how can you capture the characters from this particular string what are the possible ways you have a string dot caret right this is a standard method we have string dot caret so you can actually put zero it will give you the first character edge simply similarly there are other methods also like if you try to get the last character then what we do is str dot length is there length minus one so what it will do is it will give you the last letter d now the important aspect is what if you are doing this a string dot length what do you think what will be the output it will not throw any error it will just show empty and this is the output this is actually the index index is starting from 0 right 0 1 2 3 and we are trying to look at string dot length so the you are trying to look for an index which doesn't even exist but in javascript it is not an error there is nothing like error index out of bound exception or something like this you will still get empty quotes okay now let, let's talk about simple example like uh, here you have your url http uh, i have a www.medium.com and here i have my profile which is look something like this so how can you extract a tk sarma string from this okay what all possible ways you think of to doing doing this okay so hi uh, you can write a cost to get username and here we are passing url and now we have to write a logic inside it what we will do is first we can do a split we can do a split based on these forward slash so that we will get an array so when you do split on the string you will get an array and in the array first array we will get this first index then in second index you will get this i mean second it will be empty then third it will be this and fourth it will be uh, at the rate tk sarma now what i want is url dot split this i can simply do okay url dot split split i mean based on which character now here i got an array right so i wanted to get only at the rate tk sarma so we can use array dot pop method so what pop method does push method will insert the element to the last similarly pop method will return this at the rate tk sharma and here you can actually slice it slice from first index and we are not specifying the last index you can see start and end so the beginning index is one so it will actually slice it from first index to the length of the string so the output of this will be tk Karma. this is what we are looking at right so here we got the concept of array dot uh, string dot split which is going to convert this particular string into array then you can do a pop and then we are doing a slice okay so we will talk about this how to convert a string into array array into a string object into a string and then array into a string like you have this kind of uh, array right so there is a join method which you can just simply do this it will give you simply a this string this is useful when you are actually splitting a string or reversing a string like let's say we have hello right so what we can do hello dot split and just specify this it will split each and every character it will give you array then you can do a reverse and then you can do a join so this is how you can actually reverse any string inside a javascript okay so now let's talk about some important things about array okay so we talked about array push pop similarly there are other methods also shift unshift and all so 
so cons array let's see i have this array okay now what will happen when you do a simple push it will actually add a new element i i am doing a push so the new array element will be nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 element is added now there are other methods also array dot unsift okay what it does is it will actually add the element on the beginning unsift zero so the the output will be the new uh, output will be this array which is having zero at the beginning okay this is what unsift is doing now let's talk about a simple uh, problem statement it is actually mutating the array shift and unsift push pop all these are actually mutating the existing array always think about what is mutable what is immutable all these methods we talked about these things all are actually mutating the array because they are modifying the existing array on which you are performing the operation so consider we have one simple function okay rotate rotate an array till like some index like you have to rotate an array till three index so i'm passing some argument and here i'm just going to run a loop let i is 0 i is less than n i plus plus so we have to do something three times to rotate an array so what we can do is here we got an array consider that i have i am also passing an array here so what i am doing is array dot so first i will do a pop okay okay i can do unsift first unsift means i will keep adding this. so rotation means or whatever the last elements in the array we just keep pushing it in the front and i can do array dot pop so first of all you pop that element and unsift that element so that if you are popping up the sixth you will you will end up so if you wanted to rotate it so if you call this method for this upper upper array like i want to rotate it once so six will be on the front it will be something like 6 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 right this is how the rotation works so we are using array dot pop array dot unsift shift will actually uh, return the last element from the array okay so it's like uh, updating the uh, updating the existing array so i hope now you got the clear picture how the shift unsift push pop is working these are uh, important methods when you do the manipulation in the array similarly the array dot concat so there are many methods in array dot prototype you should be familiar with all i will say because these are very important so here we talked about uh, slice we will we'll talk about slice splice length push pop right like similarly there is a concat method what concat method does it's immutable right so adds element to the front or back of an array without mutating the original array this is what uh, array dot concat does so if you are just concatenating something const new array you can actually do so i already have an array array dot concat i can do and i'm concatenating one element nice right so it will not modify the existing array it will just return the new array so this is immutable uh, operation from the array without mutating the original array there are many ways uh, new one array so you can actually use spread operator for this if i just use this array it is spreading it and then converting into array back right you can also merge new to array if you wanted to append any element then you can do this right so it will add a 3l 3 value inside an array or there are many ways you can merge two different arrays like there is another array array 3 you just spread it and then convert it into an array this is how you can merge two different arrays okay concat is simple uh, it is going to concat the element you can concat two different arrays like concat here we already have array 1 comma array 2 this is same as concatenation and it will return the new array to us okay so i mean for the example if you want to look into this i can just talk about simple example so array 0 here array 3 array 1 dot concat so array 1 is already having 1 2 
array 2 is having 3, 4, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So this is how concatenation works. Array rotation we have already talked about, like you can unshift and uh, after doing pop, after doing pop you will get the last index and unshift will add the element on the first, I mean as a first index. So this is how you can actually uh, rotate the array. Okay, now we'll talk about splice and slice. Both are important methods. Splice is actually going to uh, change your array and slice will be immutable. It will only uh, assign the array to the new variable. Okay, so splice, simple example of splice is uh, you just pass the index for splice. This is array, array dot splice. So minus one if you wanted to get the tail of an array, right? So array is zero one, so it is mutable, right? Why I'm saying mutable because it is changing the existing array also. Array is having zero one two. You did a splice minus one, so it has returned the minus uh, two value to the tail array, but original array also modified. So similarly, like uh, we have slice. Slice doesn't do all these things. If you just try to do slice here, you can do a lot of things with a slice. If you just do error dot slice, what it does is, so you can just specify the index, start index and end index, and it will actually remove that element. So if you just try to do slice, then it will do a, it will return a new array for you. If you try to do minus one, then it will give you the last element of an array which is 2 and it will not modify the existing array. So array will still be the same. Uh, it will just create a new array and will give you that element. Okay. So slice and splice is a different. Similarly, you can also do the sorting. Sometimes you wanted to do the sorting. The sorting is simple. You can do the sorting in ascending and descending order. You just need to, if you wanted to do a, your logic sorting, then you can pass this callback function sorting in an ascending order. Right, what you can do is array dot sort a b return e minus b. If you wanted to do a descending way, you just do it in the reverse way b minus a. So it will put the higher value in the first place. Okay, so this is all about array. You just need to take care about which is mutable, which is immutable. Always remember the array dot map filter reduce are nothing to do with existing array. They are doing immutable operations like const array. Okay, when I'm doing array dot map and passing my function item and I'm doing item plus one. All right, so what it is doing is it is giving me the new array without changing the existing array. So that is the same condition for filter and all. Okay, array dot filter and reduce is doing nothing but iterating and doing some calculation and gives you the single output. And it is passing the each iteration output to the next. So if you talk about reduce function, this also asks sometimes. This is a cumulator function and your initial value okay so here we have a cumulative function and uh, if you just pass it a cumulator and the initial value which is zero and now you can also define the accumulator somewhere this is nothing but a function which is taking two argument a comma b and it is returning a plus b right so now we can talk about other things about objects like what all things are there, how to get the length of an object. So const of bz. This is the object you have, which is having x70. But how can you get the length of an array? So we can just do object.keys, obz and object.keys and you can do a length. Right, it will give you the length of an object. Similarly, the most questions are asked is how to do a deep copy, shallow copy and all, how to freeze an object, how to lock an object, uh, object or define property, how you can make a object writable false, In it means how to freeze an object, okay, 
how to actually merge two objects together. You can use a spread operator for it. Right? Spread operator foo and spread operator bar. It will actually merge and give you the new object. If you wanted to create a deep copy, deep copy, this deep copy works only at the top level. If you have a nested properties, then you have to write your own logic and you have to recursively copy the object. Okay. So the deep copy object is nothing but you just json.stringify and then parse it back. It will give you the deep copy or you can use some utility functions you iterate onto an object and every time you check if uh, you are pointing to some property then assign it. If you are again talking about nested object then do uh, call that function again recursively and keep doing a copy. Okay. I mean you have an object iterate and e iterate to each and every property and uh, copying it to another object. Okay, how to remove a property from object or adding a property to an object or modifying it is, is very easy. So this is a simple example how to do a deep copy, right? In our native way, we are just stringifying it and parsing it back. Okay, uh, if you wanted to add a new property to the object, uh, like you can write a simple function, add to object. Okay, this is your object and you will get a new key and new value. Okay, this is your object and you have a new key and new value. Simple function. So what you will do is first you will check if this particular property exists or not. So here I'm talking about new key. If this doesn't exist, then what you need to do return simple object because that key is not there. Otherwise, you will just create deep copy. Here, important part is you are actually creating a copy of it. And then you are updating. You are not updating the existing object which is being passed. OBZ1. And here you have a new key and new value assigned to it. And you have to return the object, object one. Right, this is how you can actually modify a particular property from an object. And if you wanted to remove or an object, of if you wanted to remove some property from an object, simply you can do this. Consider this is an object which is having some properties called OBJ. It is having a property is 70 and rest is new obj inside it. Right. If you wanted to remove this property a and get the rest of the object, then it is a simple shorthand. A will get 70 value and rest all will be assigned to the rest. Okay. All the other things are now like simple stack implementation. If you wanted to write a simple code which is doing a stack implementation, that you can do with a simple array push pop. Okay, now what we will do is we will just talk about simple uh, array duplication, how you can actually remove the duplicates from an array. So consider that you have an array called array. One simple shorthand is, is what you can do is const out equal to this is there in the ES6 you can create a set which actually removes the duplicate from an array or a simple function thing is you can actually do a filter on this okay array dot filter and filter you already know it takes a callback and there are multiple things you get an item you get an index and you got an array right here you can write a logic how you want it to return so i will be returning only those elements where index of that element is seen as array dot find index of item. So they will come only once and the next iteration of the same value inside an array will not come. Right. So another thing is if you wanted to check a array is palindrome or not like a const or a string is palindrome or not. H E P H. Okay. L L O O. This is a palindrome, right? So how to write a function to check palindrome? 
so we are just taking array as an argument okay we just convert this string to array while calling this and here we have to get the so what is the logic you think about it what we can do is we can iterate on to this and we keep comparing the first with the last element if both are equals everything is good right this is one of it or you iterate it from the first till the mid length of this array you keep doing pop on to this array and keep comparing the in first index with the last index which you have popped from an array right so we can just get the mid of this array and we have to get the floor value of it that is important we are getting it from math dot floor okay what we are doing is array dot length divided by 2 so we got the mid of it and we are initializing i with 0 and we are doing this a simple while loop while uh, i is less than mid what we will do is we will just keep uh, comparing the array of i with the first element so if this is not equal equal to array of uh, array dot length array of array dot length minus 1 minus i because we have to look into the last index which is minus 1 and minus i so if this is true then we have to return false otherwise all good right we can just do i plus plus here and if all good return true from here right simple code here whatever you want like you can do array dot pop also which will give us the last element every time okay or here you can just check the n minus one even if there is an odd number of elements into this array no worries it will take care of this case because if there are four elements inside an array five elements inside an array while calling this function you just need to convert check parent row str like whatever you are passing str dot split we are just converting this into the string array and whatever we are getting I mean we are just need to return a boolean true and false that's it okay so even if it is an odd number or even number odd number that is fine because it is just comparing these values if let's say there is a o right so it will compare h with h e with e l with l and then last index it is not iterating that because we are iterating till the three index 0 1 2 so it will return true or false okay so another example on this i mean you can also do array dot pop simple example we can also write something like this you can actually pop the array element and keep comparing it it's the same logic we are just doing a pop in this case or simple if you wanted to do it then you can reverse array that is very simple if that everybody will do it like this but if you wanted to do it in the way of stack you can do it like this now another important aspect is how we can actually iterate onto the arrays so we already know there are many methods map filter reduce for each for loop for in for of so what is the significance of all these things simply you can run a for loop if any wanted to iterate on any array index like simply i have an array right i can simply iterate onto it using for loop so you can run for of loop okay onto this array array is an object so you can also run for in loop for this always remember this array is nothing but an object and on the object you can run the for in loop also but for of loop on the object so here if you talk about this if you want to iterate a pure object is using for of loop will that work no right so here we can uh, for arrays we can use for of and for in loop and other things is you can actually do a for each map filter map filters are actually do, used for manipulations and filtering the data you can also use for each loop and there are other methods also there like we have the object where you have x70 so what all other methods are there object dot keys which is helping me to convert the object to an array similarly there is an object dot entries keys values and entries so it will give me the key value pair right so i can write a simple object dot keys and object dot keys will give me the array then i can run map filter and whatever i want key mapping you can see here i am running object dot keys so sometimes we have a statement where we wanted to convert an object into an array and iterate onto them right so you can actually use object dot keys which will give you these keys array with these all keys object dot values it will give you all the values object dot entries 
it will give you the key value pair right and you can iterate on to that so here we did for each loop simply you can actually use map filter whatever here we the objective is just iteration so we can simply use for each okay so there are many uh, there are already covering a separate playlist where i'm covering about node.js interview questions particularly about like what all problem statement you might face like uh, removing duplicates from an array is simple uh, finding the common sequence into from an array removing the duplicates right finding min max these are very simple questions but when it comes to the algorithmic questions like uh, write a stack write a queue write a linked list these questions become tree or uh, write a simple tree code in javascript do a tree traversal in javascript that all those things i'm covering in a separate playlist this is all about uh, basic javascript questions for a beginner level i will say because there, this is nothing very basic questions i have covered right so uh, there are many other things which i already covered in this particular playlist which is talking about javascript object function prototype proto all these will help you to prepare for any kind of javascript questions these are very specific right uh, checking palindrome writing a recursive function writing a fibonacci series right or memonizing a functional expression if you wanted to memonize a function which i covered in the previous video that can also be a good question implement your own map and filter reduce functions using javascript right javascript code uh, implement your own new method so we are writing simple function right function hello there might be a question what this new is doing can you write this new function like simply a uh, function new and define all the steps which you are doing right here you are just passing a function right so all these are actually important aspects of javascript proto prototype prototypal inheritance how we are copying the prototype of one object into another object how, what is the proto chain in the objects how you can do, how you can make sure that that particular properties in there on in the object or not how you can seal object how you can freeze an object how you can deep copy an object what is a shallow copy how spread operator and object dot assign is doing shallow copy for deep copy you need to manually write the code or you have to use some kind of utility okay that's it guys thanks everyone thanks for watching this video i'm already covering a separate playlist for all these advanced interview questions i hope you will watch it and crack your javascript jobs